It all began from a need to make use of fish waste. We were faced with the problem of how to dispose of fish waste and began to develop biodiesel from oil generated by the waste. Gradually, it developed into this concept. The problem of fish waste led, or leads to this concept, there's still plenty of work to be done. A similar dome to that one will be placed on these. The pipeline isn't quite finished yet. These large pools are for common whitefish. In practice, this is for fish larvae. Water purification takes place under there. The middle section was dug inside the rock, 8 meters below. Okay, just a second. Let's start from the beginning. And all this began from fish waste. Sibomar's closed cycle concept ensures that the bio waste is turned into energy or can be reused as nutrients. The facility produces all of its own energy. Bio oil, biodiesel, fish and in the future also vegetables go on to be sold. No waste remains whatsoever. The concept has now developed to include both biodiesel production and the manufacture of equipment. We manufacture equipment for the production of biodiesel as well as for the pretreatment and treatment of side streams. We are currently constructing a biogas plant, a recyclation fish farming facility and a greenhouse. Sibomar offers a full service concept. If bio oil cannot be generated from the waste, it is anaerobically digested at a gas facility. The generator turns methane into heat and electricity. Sibomar's overall concept is self-sufficient, even including vehicles and equipment. Water used in fish farming is recycled either as diluter at the gas facility or as nutrients at the future greenhouse. The greenhouse will support the process and generate vegetables as a byproduct. What is generated through fish farming in the waterways can be used by different plants as nutrients. As water recyclation is closed, less water is required for the system compared to conventional recyclation fish farms. They require 4 or 5 percent new water. We aim for just 1 percent. Quite a lot of technology is required in order to farm fish on dry land. <laughs> they require 4 or 5 percent new water. We aim for just 1 percent. Quite a lot of technology is required in order to farm fish on dry land. This is a pioneering method, as it is difficult to get environmental permits in fish farming. Food stuff need to be produced using increasingly pure methods. From the perspective of both nutrient emissions and the carbon footprint, this is a very natural method. You can tell by their appetite that the fish are doing very well. Sibamar's site is going through turmoil, yet the facility isn't an end in itself. This is a pilot facility, a product development plan. We aim to reproduce this. The concept will be turned into its own product. The Tekes project is about integrating these different plants and how they can serve each other. From the Tekes programs you can get also lots of valuable information. And that is at least as important as the funding. An energy self-sufficient fish farming and fish processing facility of this type is already planned for Sweden.